On Zoho's co-founder and CEO Sridhar Vembu is betting big on Indian startups. The company has backed drone startup Yali Aerospace and mechatronic startup Karuvi. Speaking to my colleague Jude Sanath, he emphasized that startups that are R&D driven and fits in with their cultural values are their best bets. Take a look. What have revenue growth rates been like at Zoho and compare and contrast that with what the industry has been doing like customer acquisition as well. How do these numbers stack up at this time and place, Sridhar? Yeah. So we used to grow at about 30%. Mm -hmm. Now we're growing closer to maybe 20%, mm -hmm. maybe 17, 18%, 20%. Mm -hmm. That's a real meaningful direction in growth. But you look at the industry, definitely it does, the growth rates have come down. You look mm -hmm. at Salesforce recently, they had a, a big you know, uh, earnings warning or a revenue warning, the stock dropped 20%. Mm -hmm. So that's where we are in today. All right. And this is affecting the broader ecosystem. It's part and parcel of the broad trend we have seen, that excess capacity mm -hmm. and customer fatigue. Mm -hmm. Customers are exhausted with too many tools, mm -hmm. too many applications that, that they have to pay for and deploy mm -hmm. and integrate all of that. Mm -hmm. We see also that as an opportunity. We have a really good integrated suite of products and, and we are actually, one thing interesting we are seeing, mm -hmm. the customer count is increasing very rapidly now. Right. And, and the revenue is catching up with that. Okay. All and right. that's particularly because we are seeing growth in the global south. Uh -huh. From India to Middle East to Latin America, Africa, everywhere, mm -hmm. our growth rates are accelerating. All right. So I'm very happy to see that. So what has that customer acquisition number been like? And we are now doing maybe about 32,000 new orgs per month. Okay, wow. It's a very impressive number. And we are going to approach the million orgs mark. Mm -hmm. You know, we already have 100 million users, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about a million organizations worldwide. Mm -hmm. And there is something like 50 to 100 million orgs we want to target eventually. Mm -hmm. The first million is the hardest and we are getting there. All right. So what kind of timeline are you looking at for that number? Maybe within the next one and a half, two years. All right. Okay. We'll announce it when okay. we get there. I want to speak to you a little bit about the couple of investments you've made in two startups, namely Yali Aerospace and Karuvi. What prompted these investments and why did you earmark these companies specifically? Uh, Yali, I'll come to that first. It's a drone mm -hmm. company and, and drone for with the winged drones. Yeah. That means long duration flight, maybe 150 kilometers long range. Mm -hmm. And this we are targeting for the medical mm -hmm. you know, delivery, the you know, organ delivery, drugs, all that. Mm -hmm. For for example, I'm in Tenkasi, mm -hmm. something from a crucial hospital from Madurai has to come there. It may be an hour, within an hour it can get there. Mm -hmm. By road it will be much longer. Right. So that's the use case. And the critical part is, this kind of technology is essential for us. Okay. And then the applications can be future, it could be national security, defense, or mm -hmm. coastal monitoring, a lot of that mm -hmm. could be there. So, but the technology has to be built in India. We have the talent pool in India. This couple from uh, Dinesh and his wife, they moved from Netherlands mm -hmm. to Tanjavur. So I'm very proud of them. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy to support their effort. That's right. uh, uh, Yali. Karvi comes from a different angle. One of my I mean, one of our Zoho customers from Kerala, mm -hmm. Mr. Abdul Ghafoor, he challenged me on why can't we produce this in India. Okay. He simply, you know, he just issued the challenge. I'm, I'm importing this, I'm selling this. You guys are engineers, why don't you produce it? Mm -hmm. I said, we are not in the market. He said, well, do the R&D. Okay. He challenged us. So and we just took it upon as a challenge, almost a fun project. We hired some engineers, gave them the challenge. Now we have really good tools. And I want to set up manufacturing plant Particularly in Tenkasi, we are training people so that we can create local jobs, mm -hmm. employment, all of that. Mm -hmm. So it's also fulfilling our rural development mission. Okay. So it's R&D powering R&D, rural development. All right, lovely. So are there other startups on the radar and is there a fund that you've set aside in terms of what you want to invest? Uh, we, don't, we don't formalize it that mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. As companies come by, we evaluate each case. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at a variety of such uses when, but all of it has to be R&D driven mm -hmm. and there has to be a rural component. Mm -hmm. It has to fit in with our cultural values. Mm -hmm. And there's enough VCs, so we are not a traditional VC. Yeah. The founders have to be committed to the business. Mm -hmm. If they are very exit centric, we are not interested. Mm -hmm. So those are the criteria. Any segments in particular that you're looking at? Any of the, you know, you look at the list of critical technologies mm -hmm. our nation needs to master, mm -hmm. all of them. All right. Shridhar, I have to ask you, I think a few times, you, a, few, a few interviews ago, you mentioned making a foray into possibly hardware and consumer hardware in the, in, you know, in the eventual future. Uh, is there an update on that front? Have you identified what you're looking at? We already ship medical instruments mm -hmm. now. We have shipped a few hundred of them and our V-Titan subsidiary that's doing very well. Mm -hmm. And we have created a 
data center hardware division in Nagpur, mm -hmm. and that's building data center hardware. Mm -hmm. We have not yet deployed it, but it's coming soon. Mm -hmm. Consumer hardware will wait. These are medical instruments, curvy, all of that mm -hmm. will go first, and then consumer hardware will come later as we grow in capacity, and we also learn how to do this well. Mm -hmm. So that's when we'll do the consumer. All right. There were reports, of course, just recently about a possible, just this one last question. There were reports recently about a possible foreign to semiconductors. I know you said you can't comment on it right now, but just for the sake of viewers, are you looking in the direction, Sridhar? We are, and we have, uh, you know, this is a, you know, the government has a policy mm -hmm. on semiconductors, mm -hmm. and it's very important to get fabs. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been a champion of that. We need mm -hmm. to get those fabs. Mm -hmm. So we have applied for it, but that process evaluation, it's a very stringent evaluation criteria. Mm -hmm that we are going through it mm -hmm. and once that process is finished we'll have some announcement to make and and with that it is a wrap on this edition of startup street but we leave you with all the startup deals that happened over this week don't go anywhere news and updates continue right here on cnbc tv 18.